Hi everyone. Sorry I haven't posted a video lately. I've uh, <clears throat> been tied up in the hospital having surgeries and whatnot. Um, I am a, actually a stage 4 cancer patient <clears throat> and uh, the cancer is eating away my spine a little bit. So I had to have some thoracic surgery and it's kind of threw me into uh, quite a tizzy here for the last month or so. So anyway, I'm kind of just now getting back to some of my battery projects. This is my A123 uh, Life PO4 battery project that I'm working on. Um, I'm also working on, of course, the scooter batteries. Uh, these are the uh, 460 watt hour 36 volt scooter batteries. Um, I actually uh, like that project a whole lot more and uh, because they're contained in the cases I went ahead and ordered three more so they'll be here shortly and I'll be having eight of them I guess total in my project. Um, that goes along with this 1500 watt inverter uh, which is a 36 volt inverter um, so that that package is coming together nicely. I'm actually planning on putting that inside of this DeWalt tote, um, which has wheels on it, so it'll be nice because that thing will be about 80, 80, 90 pounds by the time I'm done with it, but it'll be, you know, three and a half kilowatts or something. But uh, getting back to the A123s, just to kind of recap where we were with it, I did find <clears throat> a nice battery box. Here's some information on the battery box if you need it. Um, they fit nicely in there. Um, what I've got <clears throat> in there is I actually have 168 cells total. I'm going to put them in a 4S configuration and I'll have 1260 watt hours when I'm finished. This box of course has a nice lid on it. Has lots of space in the top of the lid to put my my meters, my plugs, my 12 volt connections, things like that. So that'll be nice and then I'll be able to strap it together and make it into a clean package. Uh, the main thing I want to show you today is let me get one of these battery packs up because I'm not allowed to lift very much weight. Um, excuse my uh, camera skills this morning there definitely lacking. There you can see my new uh, see my new spot welder. Anyway here's one of the packs that I've got put together. There's four of them all together. I'm going to put it in a 4S configuration. Um, I have here, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, six times seven is 42 cells right there. And uh, my plan is to spot weld <clears throat> all of these and learn how to spot weld and then connect them to the next one in series. So that's what my current project looks like. Getting back to that, uh, I do want to open up this spot welder show you what I purchased. It is the Curpu portable spot welder. Uh, got it on Amazon, got it in a day or two. I'll uh, try to put the links below. When you open it up you have the ends. Chinese sticker, show you what the device itself looks like. Now this has internal batteries in it, so I know that I'm going to have to charge it up. There's the device itself. I think one of these is a long, I'll have to read the instructions. I don't want to go into pressing buttons and long presses and stuff like that, and I'll set all the settings up. But I'll have to charge it before I can do anything with it. It also comes with a diamond file for filing your tips. That's nice. And then it comes with some nickel strip and a power cord. 
So I've got to read up on this. I've got to learn about it. I did order a little bit more strip. I also ordered the long roll of strip too. I think it was four millimeter uh, by 1.0. And so I'm going to learn about this particular unit, learn how to spot weld and start building that battery. Um, so stay tuned. Hopefully we'll have you an update when I get some spot welding done. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for your patience in my videos. Bye now.